All right, so I wanted to make a quick video to show people because uh, it was on Steam sale, so I got Far Cry 5, and the processor usage of this game was just insane. It was running my processor on boost constantly, so I've got a 5800X3D, not important, but it was running it at the boost speed all the time. So when you look at Task Manager and you go to Performance, you know, uh, the base clock on this is like 3.6 or something, and it boosts to 4.4. So whichever core it was running on was always at 4.4. So the heat was high, and I, I'm imagining if you're watching this video, you probably had the same problem, where your one of your cores or many of your cores are running at max, and you're getting ridiculous processor temperatures like 80 or 90. And I've got performance cooling on my processor, so, you know, I'm the type of guy who is just not okay with my processor running balls to the wall constantly so I had to find a fix so the goal of this video is to show you a quick fix for it so let me show the problem real quick and then I'll show the fix so we'll launch Far Cry 5 eventually that's another thing I hate is that Ubisoft Connect but I tried everything I tried settings I tried uh, 60 FPS instead of 120 I tried uh, changing the textures. I tried changing every setting in the game. Um, I even undervolted more than I usually do. Uh, I just tried everything that I could possibly think of. I turned off all the background apps and this would, the, uh, it just seems to be a feature of the game that it runs the processor on boost all the time. And I'm not cool with that. Some people may not care at all and that's fine with them, but for me that's not all right. So um, I had to find a solution, and I found one. It may work for some people. It may not work for everybody. But um, all right, here we go. So you can see now that I'm in the game. Let me get Afterburner on as well. All right. So my temperature is at almost 80, which, you know, I've got performance cooling, and I have my fan curve set to Wicked which is not okay for me. I want a game in like uh, the low 70s and you know, maybe the, uh, so I, I, you know, it doesn't look like it's got one of my processors on boost constantly, which is interesting because my temperature is still very high. And last time I did this, uh, one of my cores was just being pushed balls to the wall. But you can see right now my temperature is extremely high. I would not game at 77, and of course when things are happening in the game and it gets crazy, it gets up to like 80, 85, and you can see right now the max is 81. I'm just not cool with that. So the fix for me was to go and search. I'm on Windows 10, so if you're on Windows 11 it might be different. So I just search for power and then um, additional power settings. So you want to change your uh, power settings. This is going to prevent your cores from boosting. So for some people with some processors, you may not be able to run the game very well. For me, I don't have almost any problems running the game, and it saves me 20 degrees uh, Celsius, which is just huge. So now I'll go and change my maximum power state to 99 instead of 100. And the re really the only functional difference in this is it's going to prevent your cores from boosting. So look at the temperature just falling. All right, so that's going to fix the problem. Now, I guess the only caveat is is that you're going to have to have a pro I think this is the processor it was running on. Um, just boost and balls to the wall. So now I'm locked at my 3.3 base clock. I guess it's 3.3. So that's how it's saving your temperature. Um, so now, and you'll be able to see in game, I mean, it runs just beautifully for me. 120 FPS, no problems, no stuttering, no dropping. I've really smooth gameplay. So I've got a 5800X3D. So, you know, maybe that's why it runs really well. If you had a lower processor, you know, maybe uh, 3700X, my wife's computer also seems to run this fine. So even on a 3700X, this works, albeit she runs at 60 FPS, but that's just a preference for her. So uh, this is the fix I came up with. And one last thing that I think really helps this run well, um, you may have to remember to do is 
So to turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, which really seems to help games run well, you're going to want to go into your display settings and then advanced display settings now. Then you're going to want to go down to graphic settings and make sure that you have hardware accelerated GPU scheduling on. Not all Radon cards or uh, AMD cards have this option, but if you have NVIDIA, you have this option, and this really seems to help the processor uh, offload some of the work to your GPU. Uh, so you can see my temperature is now 51, and that the game was running super smooth. So those are two things you're going to want to do. You're going to want to change your CPU max power state to 99, and you're also going to want to make sure that you have hardware accelerated GPU scheduling on. Okay, so hopefully that helps you guys run the game really well without running at 80 degrees Celsius, which is unacceptable for me. I imagine a lot of people are having this problem, so uh, it took me a long time to find the answer, and I wanted to make a short video to make it easier for people to fix. Good luck. Uh, enjoy the game. All right. Late.